Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Solaris Ray playing RimWorld. This is a new series that I'm doing, a little bit different from the uh, Zombie Land uh, playthrough. Uh, just because I've done uh, many Zombie Land and I will come back to it, don't get me wrong. I really love Zombie Land, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, and then I will come back in Zombie Land when I have a little bit more ideas on how we can actually succeed. So if you haven't uh, watched the Zombie Land playthroughs, I invite you to do it. There's a uh, quite a few uh, adventures that was held there, but here we're going to do something different. Um, the adventure is going to be playing a lost tribe that lost their settlement because of a nasty empire that came and destroyed everything. Uh, the reason being is uh, apparently there was some very valuable uh, resources on their land and the empire said well we uh, would like you to leave and the tribe say no it's the our ancestors land we are not gonna leave say well okay and they <laughs> they came with some uh, very uh, powerful you know machineries weaponry and say now you leave the tribe uh, tried to resist but uh, uh, the resistance was crushed people have been uh, in prison and very a few managed to escape and the, the people that escape are our pawns that we can see here. But I just wanted to read a little bit the synopsis because I thought that it was cool to put a little bit the layer of the story. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blade and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey with no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness, like your ancestors did. All right. So I'm gonna say okay, and we're gonna pause. Let me present a little bit our uh, colonist. So we have Hawk, which is the actual chief of the previous uh, settlement or where the tribe was. He's a druid, right? So we're going to play uh, with a Rimworld of Magic, which I think makes total sense if you're going with a tribe vibe uh, with powers, etc. That being said, I really, really love the Meditate update and what they are doing. So we're going to try to see if there is an Anima Tree and we're going to try to use it to enhance even further our magical capabilities. So Hawk is a pretty decent character. I wanted him to be sturdy because we're going to play in deity, right? So it's going to be extremely difficult. We're going to have a lot of things thrown at us. And one thing that I really like in RimWorld is to face the obstacles that the storyteller throw at us. But I really like also to be able to rely on my pawns. I don't necessarily like too much when they uh, go in psychotic wandering and things like that just because they are, you know, uh, abrasive or they are, you know, um, uh, some other other ones I don't remember that traits that are making them mentally unstable. Uh, because I believe that uh, people that uh, were in the time, they were survivors, you know, they were not uh, just pulled off by a little bit of dirt here and there or a lack of sleep or terrible conditions. They, they had to endure terrible condition and just having traits that make them, you know, uh, lose their mind. That's a little bit more for maybe uh, people crash landed that are more accustomed to civilization and comfort. But for tribe people, they are used to survive, right? They are not used to to have it easy. So that's why I wanted to make sure that our pawns are pretty reliable. As you can see, uh, Hawk is pretty good, right? And it's very good with plants, decent with animals, which makes sense because he's a druid. And I also wanted him to be iron wheeled so he can lead his tribe through the, the troubles and the trials to come. All right, we also have Poison as an ability as a Druid and Regenerate, which is two very good ones. We had that randomly generate, so that's very fantastic. So he's going to be the chief leader, the, the Druid, the guide of the tribe and the voice of nature. Then we're going to have Stingray. So Stingray, he is going to be the scout, right? And he's uh, very good also with construction, mining, crafting in general. He's caring, industrious. So that's going to be him. He's going to be the eyes of the colony. Combo is our fighter. He's the, you know, <laughs> the guy that defend the colony. Now, he's pretty good at shooting, pretty good at melee, physically adept, pretty tough, right? So what you would expect from a guy that's going to take a lot of hits, 
uh, is, but is incapable of caring uh, and uh, and you know taking care of animals. So it's not perfect, right? He has some drawbacks, but uh, he's going to be pretty good at what he does, which is protecting the colony. Um, oops, why did I take it off? Okay, so now she is the diplomat. She's going to be the face of the party. She is the the talker, the people, the person that was going to the other tribes, talking, trying to develop relationships, uh, relationships with other people, etc., etc. So she's a diplomat. She's pretty. She's very good in social cooking and very artistic too. So that's who she is. And Bila, she's going to be our uh, intellectual. She's the person. You know, but it's going to be very good at building houses, trying to develop new technologies, etc. Uh, so as you can see, she's intellectual. She's also very decent in construction and crafting. She's an inventor, builder, and but she's incapable of caring. <laughs> All right. So there's not a lot of people that are pretty good at medicine, actually. That's what I realized. So it's gonna make interesting, but Hawk is is pretty good, right? He's a pretty good, oh, I'm pretty good. He has a minor passion for it. He's trash, actually. He's only have two, but you know, he he, he will practice. <clears throat> he will practice. That's fine. I, I believe in him. So those are the characters, and let's uh, let's discover the map. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so the animatory. Uh, the animatory is way on the side there. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna use a mod there that is called uh, Reroll, a uh, map reroll. I really recommend that for people that, you know, if you really want to have a specific feel or if you're not happy necessarily with the map. Now, the map is not necessarily bad by any stretch of the animation, but the animatory is gonna be very important to us and having it so close to the border. It's going to be exposed to raids and things like that. And uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it, it would be a good opportunity to try to see if we can have the animatory a little bit more uh, centered, you know, than exposed because we're going to use the animatory a lot. So uh, we will map. Let's have a look. So if you haven't, if you never used that mod before, that's what it does. It's gonna, just going to regenerate the map in the same biome. Right, and then you can uh, have a look. Now, uh, I can't see necessarily where the animatory will be. Um, but we could potentially regenerate the map just to see. Um, so this page two. Okay. Uh, I like this one, more or less. Okay, so let's generate this map. Okay, guys, so we just regenerated the map. And as you can see in this map, the animatory is here, which is way better than at the extreme uh, left. Because one of the reasons why the tribe decided to settle here was because they found a new animatory. And uh, uh, that's why Hawk decided, well, we found a new sacred site where we're going to be able to attune to nature. We're going to have to settle here, right? Now, we cannot necessarily construct too close from the animatory because otherwise it's going to lose its effect. But we want to be able to come there and maybe even putting some kind of perimeter of defense around it so it doesn't get attacked, you know. But uh, yeah, I really like the, the location there. Let's have a look at the map in general. So there's some runes, some steel, compact machinery. There's a, a fair amount of things to hunt, some geysers. Uh, there's a geyser there, there's some resources. Actually, we could. Uh, yeah, there's some runes there. What is that? Gold, okay. Some gold. Um, okay. Okay, some elephants too. Uh, we could potentially think of. Uh, well, this is not a bad a, a bad place to settle actually. Like we could, uh, we could settle here and mine there, which will give us some steel in the same time. So we could create a settlement there. Uh, you know, having some crops here is a wonderful place to have crops so I really love it we're going to be able to construct around having a compound and we're going to have the animatory 
So we don't want to construct too close to the, at the animatory, so, but we can ha uh, have all this like our base constructing the, the side there and having some kind of walls to prevent you know the sappers or things like that to attack the animatory. Um, the geyser is, I think, not of we could potentially craft a geyser, it's just the periphery, I guess. I guess. But either way, there's another one here that we could use. No, I really think I like this map, so we're gonna keep it, and here you go. This is our map. And I really, really love that mo mo mod, like if you uh, are concerned sometimes uh, on your start, or if you are looking for a field, or if you're starting a playthrough, and you want to make sure that you have uh, a map that is decent for what you try to accomplish, or just like me, like making sure that the animatory is a little bit the center of the map, because that's the reason why you chose the map, then you can use that mod uh, to, uh, to to have your map more aligned to what you want to do. Now, um, let's have a look at the mods, speaking of which, so we're going to go here, and this is the mod list. So as you can see, there is not many, many mods, there's a few, there's maybe 20, 25, and it's just because with my previous playthrough, I had uh, some technical issues because of the recent updates and the save was corrupted, I couldn't save it. Uh, or use it anymore. So I just wanted to go back to a, uh, a less modded version, but still with some very cool mods like uh, Rimworld of Magic. I also have ammunition. Oops, sorry. I also have ammunition, which is uh, something interesting because I feel that at the moment the uh, range weapons are a little bit overpowered sometimes because they can just shoot, you know, infinite bullets. You don't know where they come from. They shoot, shoot, shoot. Say, so, well, yeah, but technically you need to replenish those bullets, you need to replenish those arrows. You don't have an unlimited amount of them, right? So ammunition is supposed to do that, um, right? So exclude, so nothing is excluded. Everything is uh, part of this mod, which is pretty cool. Um, after we're gonna have blueprint, camera, embrasures, and power facial, uh, staff, faction control, Mod manager, of course, query, setup, camp, faction discovery, giddy up, hospitality, map reroll, run and gun, save our ship 2.3, which means that we could potentially be a mystical tribe that managed to merge technology and, and mystic and uh, to go into space, potentially, that would be cool. But our primary goal for this playthrough, because we always have goals, um, it's going to be to uh, defeat an empire. Right, so if we look, we have the Shattered Empire and we have the Refuge Empire. Where previously we were uh, settled, uh, we were settled here, and the Empire came and said, "No, you leave now. This is our territory. We need the resources there." And that's why the tribe decided to go closer to their uh, previous ally, which is the Indruvera, and uh, settled camp here with the animatory with the hope to be able to reclaim their land. Of course, that's going to declare a war with the uh, Shattered Empire because even if they, you know, chase the uh, the tribe, it didn't consider them like necessarily at war with them. It said, just go away, you savages, right? Uh, but the tribe is going to go at war with the Empire and our goal is to defeat that Empire. So first goal is to try to take back this place and the second is to defeat the Shattered Empire entirely. Now, if we look at the Shadow Empire, they have a quite a few settlements, so it's going to be a pretty big undertaking. But if we manage to destroy uh, every single uh, settlement that they have or to capture them, then uh, we will be able to defeat the Shadow Empire and we will win the playthrough. So you see, it's a little bit different from what we were doing before, and I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, we are playing in DT uh, difficulty, and uh, yeah, so this is a little bit the premise. Uh, also, as you can see, as the tribe, um, I changed a little bit the, the animals because I was going to have uh, um, some animals that I didn't find um, appropriate for the tribe. I wanted to go with something a little bit more interesting. So we're going to have a male and a female panther. Right, so uh, that animal, this one is the male one, is Gregory, and there we're gonna have the uh, female versus Baccarat. Baccarat. 
So they are going to be the two members of the tribe. And also I found it very was adequate to do that because we have a druid after all. So it will make sense that the druid will be able to commune with nature and to be able to ally some uh, pretty powerful, uh, you know, uh, animals to help them in their deeds. Now, um, panthers are not necessarily overpowered, but they are pretty good to start with. So, uh, yeah. Now, without any further ado, I think we should begin our playthrough. It's super exciting. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna allow. We're gonna allow the resources here. Okay, everything is gonna be allowed. Um, also, so I, I did previous playthroughs a little bit with the tribe before starting this playthrough. So I did some other uh, uh, attempts in the past, right, for this uh, uh, playthrough. And it was pretty interesting because <laughs> uh, it's very difficult, right? Very difficult. And one of the problems that I had multiple times, it's uh, the food, right? Food, 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 food. So what we're going to have to do is to make sure that we have enough food. So I'm gonna put here uh, some space for for rice. Okay, this is gonna be the rice plantation, and this is because it's a fertile land. Um, and actually, I'm gonna try to see if we can extend this zone here. Perfect. So all this is trying to follow the fertile land here and maybe is this a fertile land? No, 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 but this is a fertile land. Yep. Yep. Okay. So all this is going to be rice. Okay. Perfect. The second thing that we're going to try to do is to have a stockpile and we can literally construct around this, right? So, um, which is going to be interesting. We don't have the stone cutter technology yet, so I don't think we'll be able to stone cut things. No, we don't, but we can have a simple research bench. We have a crafting spot and we have a butcher area. Okay, interesting. So we're going to be doing the stockpiles, right? And potentially we can put a stockpile here and we can ask to have uh, those things mined down. A little bit so we can um, have a little bit more stocking area maybe extend it a little bit further like here right oh, I'm gonna shrink it from there so we can construct the wall and extend it there so this is gonna be our stockpile area then we're gonna have we're gonna sleep on the floor for now no, no bed rolls so one, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna take uh, this one out. Um, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna request to construct for now in wood. Um, that, and then we can also produce a research bench Okay, and we're gonna need a door. Okay, perfect. Now, before we continue, we're also gonna need to say who is gonna get which weapon. So the pilot, if we have a look in terms of damage, stopping power, damage 25. Ooh, ooh, penetration armor. So that's a pretty good weapon. Guess who is gonna have this weapon? Yes. Okay, so Combo is going to have this weapon. Uh, this guy, uh, Stingray, uh, is going to have a bow just because he's a scout. So it would just make sense for him to have a bow. Um, Hawk is not too bad in melee. So I'm going to give him a club. He could also have the, the Jade Knife. 5.35 DPS, I'm a penetration, okay. What about this? Penetration, electricity, okay. Beauty. Okay, it could have the steel equa, which is a little bit better. So we're gonna give that to him. Uh, equip, okay. Then, 
Uh, I'm gonna give Bira because Bira is not too bad in melee too. You should be better with a, a bow though. Yeah, so I'm gonna give Bira the bow. And she doesn't have anything. Uh, ah. Okay, I'm gonna need to give Bira the uh, the knife and get them the bow. Just because uh, Kenson cannot do melee, so perfect. So they're gonna eat starvation. You see, so this is immediately a problem. Like food is a problem immediately as soon as we hit the the land. Okay, so Hawk is already planting, so that's great. People are uh, holding. Now we're gonna do this. Uh, so I'm gonna schedule the work, put a pause here and catch you back in a few seconds. Okay guys, so I have populated the table. So everybody has uh, the possibility to do it, at least if they can, if they can, they can. But I want everybody to at least be able to do it if they can do it, right? Uh, because so I, I really don't like when I try to give an order to opponent and say, oh, I cannot do it because it has been allocated to the work. So everybody can at least do, do it if they're not forbidden. But uh, we are setting the priorities. So uh, as you can see, Hawk is going to be handing the animals, being the doctor, growing the plant, cutting the plants. Uh, Stingray is going to be more uh, hunting, mining, uh, doing quarries, tethering and crafting. Combo, it, he is kind of, you know, it's going to be holding, but it's going to be assisting with hunting too. So maybe what I will do, I will put him at one, right? So for hunting. Uh, Case, Case and she's going to be, you know, the warden. She's going to be entertaining. She's going to be cooking. She's going to do art. She's going to be cleaning. And Bira, uh, she is going to be constructing. Uh, smithing, researching, studying, teaching. So she's gonna be the intellectual. Uh, also, I would like to define the zones real fast. That's the kind of thing that you need to do when you start the adventure, managing the area, creating a new one. And we're gonna call that animals, animals, because I don't want the animals to eat our pemmican. They have the right to hunt, but if I don't have the right to actually uh, eat our food. So they can, Come inside the base, you know. That's perfectly fine. And I will do a sleeping spot for them. And they can hunt, they can go outside, they can do whatever they see fit, but they don't. They don't eat our food. They hunt themselves because we're gonna have real food issues. Okay, so just need to be aware of that. Okay, so that should be good enough. Uh, apparently there is a uh, silver devil in allow in there you go there is also the anima tree which is absolutely fantastic so uh, we are going to put some meditation spots and speaking of spots I need to add uh, um, animal spots so that's done we're gonna add a torch that's done and we would like to be able to meditate. All right, so where is the meditation spot already? Don't remember. I think I passed it. Animal spots, floors, ship, misc. Oh, ah, yeah, here you go. All right, meditation spot. So, oh, no, no, no. Let, let's do it in a more. Um, practical way so this that this unless we want to do it like a star oh yeah 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 i like the idea of a star let's do it that way like like with a star like with a star meditation spot so we're gonna have one here one there one here one here one there so like that there's five people that can meditate around the tree right and uh, um and that's gonna be cool now what we're gonna need to do is schedule so there's no night hawk or things like that so what i would like is them to wake up two hours earlier to have some recreation and the rest work 
Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Boom. So right now they should be they should be working. Uh, they are in recreation spot. So talking about recreation spot, I uh, almost forgot. Uh, we are going to put some form of recreation in here, right? Okay, so those are the things that we need to do. And also we're going to give an order to clean, chop the woods inside, right? And chop the woods here because we need, uh, we need to clean the area. Okay, so Bila is constructing, Combo is hauling, Hawk is cutting. All right, now we're gonna take care of our animals and I would like our animals to be able to haul first. Perfect, so that's gonna be something that Hawk is gonna do. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so Stingray is gonna actually mine, perfect. And actually, I could extend also the mining a little bit so we can have a little bit more space. Okay. Uh, we don't have yet the uh, research tree, I found the research table, furniture. I'm gonna put that here. Perfect. Okay, Let's speed up the time. Ah, it's so good when you can speed up the time and actually the game speed up at a satisfactory level. Ah, yes. Okay, so there's a berry there. All right, so wildlife as well, we're gonna need to uh, hunt. We're gonna need to hunt, very important. So we don't want to aggravate uh, animals where we cannot uh, handle, but... Um, we're gonna try to hunt the uh, Cassowaries, right? Uh, and there's also some Shenshiras, so we don't give a lot of meat, but we want to hunt them down. Right. Perfect. So like that, if they have combo ran out of primitive ammo. Okay, but you don't need primitive ammo. Oh, okay, because it's physically gifted, so promote the gifted pawn to the Wayfarer class. The Wayfarer has no class ability, but learn all classless standalone abilities using scrolls and can improve combat abilities beyond their normal potential. Okay, but they can also be something else. And Wayfarer, if I, I don't know, Wayfarer, I don't know if that's like Wanderers. Uh, yeah, I think it's Wanderers that can give uh, uh, travel boosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we don't want to do that. Okay, so when the game says that, it's because they would like to hunt, but they can't hunt because they don't have arrows to shoot the bow, right? So what we're going to need to do to not starve... Okay, where is he? Digging the granite, okay. I think he wanted to go for the Shenshira there, okay. We can also bond an animal for Stingray. He could potentially bond one of the panthers, right? Um, that would not be a bad idea, actually. Uh, that would not be a bad idea. Or you can bond uh, another animal. Like a, like a rhinoceros. <laughs> that would be a good uh, a good animal to bond with. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna ask Stingray to go there and to try to to bond with a rhinoceros. Okay, what can potentially go wrong? So Stingray was unable to establish the bond with a rhinoceros in rather than 90%. Uh, ah, is is stuck at uh, 70. Okay, I forgot that. Okay. So what about the panthers? Can the panthers uh, be bonded at this stage? No. 80. He needs to level up. But the good news is that by just trying to bond with an animal, he... Uh, an experience, right? 
So you can you can try a little bit later. Now combo, what kind of weapon does he have? Yeah, he has a P that. So it is not supposed to be to use a bow to hunt. So we're gonna use combo to hunt. So we're gonna do something easy. Okay. So he killed one. And we're gonna need also to have a space there where we can store corpses. For now we're gonna allow the corpse to be stored here for now. We're gonna extend the zones. Right. And we're gonna need to have spots. Where is it? Uh, production. Yep. Like a butcher spot for now. And a crafting spot. Okay, and we're gonna request you have some primitive ammo to be done until we have 10, let's say. And this we're gonna say to butcher animals forever. Perfect. Now Stingray, what we would like him to do is to haul this so that someone can butcher him. And combo, it took a little bit of a beating, but nothing too uh, serious. And he's gonna continue hunting. And he's gonna go for uh, this prey there. It's gonna bring more food. Okay, so let's slow down. Whew. Why are you not using the gear? Ah, okay. He's, he's literally hunting them by punching them. Okay, maybe he needs a club. Pita is... Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, can, can he drop this uh, Pita in actually... Maybe I didn't... Okay, so now he's using it as an equipment. Great. Alright, so now we're gonna we're gonna finish him until he's dead. Don't, we don't want to save him, we, we want to hunt him for his food. Jeez man. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Alright. Now he's gonna be holding this and he's gonna need to, to have some healing done. Uh, so, furniture, sleeping spot, this is going to be our healing spot. Okay, perfect. There you go, Kaysen is already cooking. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to need to have, uh, we, we need to extend this area. Because we need to, to have a place where we can cook. Okay, so Kessen is, is cleaning. And speaking of which, also, I would like to give the order to cut the plants. There you go, because I don't want those plants inside the base. Hawk is actually planting a lot of rice, so we, we're not going to be as food, um, you know, deprived as before. And here, if a Bira can break this, we can make a stove here, maybe. Hey, you go, Stingray is crafting arrows, yes! Okay. And now I think Combo is gonna rest. Alright. Now, we don't necessarily want to use the herbal. We want him to tend Combo without the uh, herbal. Technically, he is super immune. Oh no, he's tough. He's not super immune. But he has a better uh, immunity gain speed plus 20%. All right, so he should be able to not need, uh, if he gets an infection, the uh, the herbal uh, kit, but we'll see that. Okay. Perfect. So they're eating the pemmican pretty quick. All right. 
Now, what I would like to do is to order the production of a fuel stove so we can cook. Okay, fuel sure stove, ha I have the work speed, bad temperature. Okay. So we need steel. Do we have, we have enough steel now? Why did they put the steel? Uh, I don't see the steel. Where is it? Uh, why did they put the steel? <laughs> because th this is steel, right? They, they mine the steel. Where, where is the steel? Hmm, interesting. Okay, combo is still uh, being healed. Okay, and and Hawk is uh, is not necessarily a super good uh, healer at the moment, but it, he is learning. All right, he's learning on combo. <laughs> okay. Um. Combo has run out of primitive ammo. Of course he did. Okay. So now that we have primitive uh, ammo, what we're going to need is to make sure that we have a small, uh, a small primitive pack. Okay. Because this is going to allow com uh, Combo or Stingray to actually um, carry those... Uh, Carry those ammo. Yeah. Now I'm not necessarily sure what happened to the steel there, which is kind of uh, concerning. But okay. But for our first day, it's not too bad. Okay, people are getting put up during their sleep, and he's gonna sleep there. Okay. All right, boom, and accelerate. Okay, food. It seems that the animal ate here. The, the, ah, because I didn't allocate it to the uh, area, the animal area, that's why. So, um, there you go. Yeah, they, they will not be able to. Okay. Okay, so I'm just checking something real fast. Okay, so it's slowly, uh, slowly healing. Right. Okay, well, I think this is a good point to uh, end the episode. It's already 37 minutes. So we introduced the world and we started the adventure. Which is pretty cool. And okay, so they are wandering. Cool, 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 cool. Looking at the sunrise. Okay, <laughs> they are trying to play horseshoe beyond the the seat there, which is pretty funny. Come on, have that uh, like have your rest. Uh, didn't have recreation. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. If you don't have recreation, my friend, you're gonna break down. Can't afford for you to break down. Okay, do you start gazing? All that good stuff. And also in, in here, it's okay if you have chunks, it's fine. Just put it there. Perfect. Perfect. So they finished the the um, primitive weaponry. Like so, who who has it? Okay, he has it. Um. Yeah. 
drop this, drop that. You don't need it. You're not going to use bows and arrows, okay? You, you grab this. Perfect. Because now he would be able to shoot with the bow. And I think he has 20. So reload. So that, that's how the mod works. You know, you need to pr produce the ammunition and now you have 20 arrows. So technically he should be able to go hunt and he's going to be able to use those 20 arrows. All right. Perfect. And yeah, he's almost healed. Cool, cool, cool. Now, the base is very vulnerable to any raids, right? So this is not uh, very good for defending against raids. But... Um... Oh, yes. I forgot something very important. I would like to see if I can schedule uh, two hours of meditation. Now, maybe not everybody should meditate. Now I'm thinking about it. But Hawk should meditate, and maybe Beata should meditate, and Kaysen, uh, and Stingray. Co Combo is not going to be meditating, he's not very attuned to nature, and maybe not Beata either. Yeah, so there, she's more a scientist, uh, but the others will be able to meditate. Uh, why is she... Awful barrack, man, minor pain. Slept in the heat, slept on the ground, sock wet, ate without table, uncomfortable, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it kind of it's kind of difficult. I understand. <laughs> Maybe we can reinstall it here. So it's gonna do that. Perfect. And now for the person that is going to cook, I would like to have 10 simple meals, if you can, with whatever you can. So she's going to do that immediately before the the, the meat rots. And we have some um, berries as well. So... Cool. And the people are planting. Great. Now we have a research table, I realize, and I haven't uh, requested to have any kind of uh, research. So we're going to need some complex furnitures. Starting first, complex. What was it? It's, it's certainly in, uh, complex clothing, clo complex furnitures. Yep. And we're going to need stone cutting. And we're going to need um, smithing. Boom. So see, like, Bida is going to be busy. There you go. Hopefully oh, that is going to help her, you know, stay inside. And she's cooking the meat. Perfect. Okay, so we have a second meal. Alright. But we need way more. Stingray. Yeah. She does it. Also, she's going to need to have another... Um, She's going to need to have another one as well. Another primitive pack because she's using a, a bow. Uh, and Kobo is already full of, uh, fully healed, so he didn't, uh, uh, he didn't get any infection. So that's great. So here you go, guys. We're going to stop here <laughs> before I continue. The game is wonderful. I love it. Like, uh, it's very... Um, it's a very fun game. So uh, thank you very much guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. That will help progress the channel and that will uh, show me if uh, you want to see more of this kind of content in the future. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see in the series or what I should be doing or what I, what I could improve, put it in the comment section below and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.